might come as a surprise to you, like like me, it was a surprise to me. But after 10 years of dedicating his life to Stardew Valley, the game's creator, Eric Barone, aka Concerned Ape, has been working in secret on a new game, which he announced back in October 2021. The new indie classic in the making is entitled Concerned Apes Haunted Chocolatier and will be a developer published RPG simulation game. Now I know you are all ready to hit that pre-purchase button right now, but hold your jets because it's still in the early stages of development so we'll likely go through a lot of changes before the final product is released. But don't you Stardew Valley fans worry about a thing, Barone will continue to work on your beloved game alongside his new venture. Here is what we know so far. Now, while Stardew Valley is mostly grounded in the real life tasks such as growing food, tending to livestock, developing relationships, mining for treasure, battling monsters, and ridding your spouse through spells from witches, well I guess those last two aren't exactly reality, they're more fantastical in nature, but that is exactly the direction that Haunted Chocolatier will lean heavily into. To be more precise, Haunted Ghost Chocolate. And who doesn't enjoy a bit of paranormal activity with their dessert? But despite the spooky title, this game promises to be positive, uplifting, and life-affirming. It's like Willy Wonka meets Casper the Friendly Ghost. So what's this game all about anyway? You know the age-old story. You move to a new town and build yourself from the ground up as you get to know the people around you and carve out a happy little slice of life. Pretty standard fare. Barone describes the gameplay loop as gathering ingredients, making chocolate, running a chocolate shop, and of course, combat. Because who can focus solely on cooking up delicious chocolate when there are so many evil forces out there in the world? Haunted Chocolatier really leans into the action RPG side as combat will play a larger role than it did in Stardew Valley, but will be unique in its own special way. Barone reveals that he's building this game from scratch, such as using a different engine from Stardew Valley and even including the use of shields to protect yourself from those ruffians. Of course, there will be much, much more, but Barone wants to keep many of the game elements a surprise to players. Isn't he thoughtful? And although we will all make comparisons between Stardew Valley and Haunted Chocolatier, it is not yet confirmed if they exist within the same universe. And here are some other things we don't fully know. It's currently single player with no current plans yet for multiplayer. It will be on the PC, but nothing yet confirmed for any other platforms. And presently it will be in English and likely other languages, but no indication on which ones yet. Now here are some key elements from the trailer that you clearly just watched, but it looks so good. Let's just go on back and point out some of the things that might've been missed. First of all, we get the obvious out of the way and point out that it has an adorable pixel art style that is unmistakably akin to Stardew Valley. But look at this home that you're living in. Who are you? Milton Hershey? This is likely a late game home upgrade or some form of hotel because it looks like you have a butler. But I'm loving this vibe of a massive home lit by candlelight with the snow outside. Makes me want to go out and get a cup of hot chocolate right now. And it appears that instead of employing folks from your town, you'll have some ghostly employees happily tending to your shop. It sure beats hiding in the closet waiting for some kid's bedtime, am I right? Now, it might be just me, but it looks like to go gather resources you leap through. What is that, a magic painting, a magic door? Definitely giving off some portal to another world vibe. You will have use of different weapons, such as this bow and arrow and this um, stick that you can use to both shoo away those pesky predators or gather resources. Looks like you just plop those ingredients right there in the pot, likely learning new recipes along the way. And of course, you can decorate to make this place your own and some obvious character customization too. While we don't get to meet all of the townsfolk just yet, there is definitely romanceable characters as well as those you will likely purchase items from or who will send you out on quests. And look at these character portraits. They look so well done. Aw, look how happy she is to get her gift. Let's see, and there's something sciencey going on. I don't know what you're doing over there, Jet. And what is this place? A potion shop? It's looking pretty fancy and it definitely appears that the people are happy to have you in their fair town. I wonder what they're so excited about. Let me know if I missed anything. So that's the game in a chocolate covered nutshell. After all, this is a work in progress, but we trust that the genius mind behind one of the most popular indie games of all times is going to come up with something that will be familiar, yet a whole new experience. And for those excited to try out a Stardew Valley-like experience, here is a video hand-selected just for you.